Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod. Are you someone who is learning the postman, right? So make sure you check out these pros and cons that I'm going to discuss in this video. All right? So let's get started. All right, guys. I can say that because I have worked with postman for more than 4 3 4 years, I would say, 4 5 years right now and created couple of courses around it and uh, taught more than I would say 4000 people students right these are a couple of points that i would like to discuss right so let's jump into it and uh, let's see all right so these are uh, the points that i have based specifically for you right so if we talk about the pros right we have to start with the positivity right and so the first one is the pros of postman right so what are the pros of it so i would say that it's probably the best uh, tool to learn api testing as well as to perform api test testing manually as well as semi automation i would say not fully automation semi automation way right and uh, it is one of the easiest tool right now available uh, it's free of course uh, you can try out but couple of features which are little advanced which are, which basically you will not required initially right these will be available to you after when you pay or you basically subscribe to their monthly plan or yearly plan right so the things like uh, api monitoring and all right documentation advanced documentation stuff and all so that's again that is totally depend upon you if you want to take it or not but if you are someone who just trying out certain apis uh, you are basically working with your collections sharing collection and all it will works for works in a free way also basically i mean to say in the free version also right uh, it provide assertion and verification libraries like chai js it supports uh, chai js and also definitely big advantages it basically use the javascript and javascripts created chai js and all these framework which are pretty much i would say st- industry standard right now for the assertion as we as well as the verification purpose so you will not uh, find lots of uh, loop back in this case i mean to say these are enough assertion and verification libraries to perform uh, any kind of assertion that you would like to do in your collections or in your crud operations with your apis right uh, i would say third point is that it's a gui tool which is again best uh, best point and it will basically allow you to create your collection dif- work with different http method it's now supports different http method which we never heard like connect and other things trace and all right so it supports that right now it supported start supporting graphql also which is like a advanced stuff right so again it's becoming a again uh, they are keep on adding advanced features so postman is becoming really really powerful i would say uh you can share your collection you can basically monitor your collection you can team sharing in postman is very wonderful feature basically you can share what you are working on you can also share whatever the changes that they will make they will make it it will get synced right uh you, you you have a command line tool of newman also which again provide you great uh extension right to in your ci cd pipeline so that's again one of the feature right good documentation i would say doc, lots of good documentation as well as courses available definitely do check out the if you want to check out right learn do testing academy.com right <laughs> all right so uh let's jump into the cons of postman this is where you are right i think this is what you wanted to know right so let me give you one of the major disadvantage of it that it doesn't reuse the code so whenever you are writing assertion you are writing code you are writing utility methods in your one collection you have to copy paste those collections again you cannot use them you cannot import them you cannot call them right so that's again a bit pain right even if if we compare it with the any kind of a programming language support or framework that we are creating from scratch right it's again had a major disadvantages again the second point which is similar one is that test data management if you have a collections which requires multiple excel file working right file working file down file basically uploading test data lots of heavy data test data right 20000 records and all postman will be just uh, not a good choice for you in that case and we have uh, basically started it we have created a couple of collections and we had more than like 50000 uh, 70000 records in our excel files which were really really heavy i would say 15 mb 30 mb in that case and postman was creating lots of issues in that case we have seen that in the so uh, let me know in the comment if you have found these kind of performance issues or other issues with postman uh, but i think uh if we talk about the test data management specifically it's a big no no from my side uh very bad in code maintenance that's again the similar point with the one uh, one if you are someone who who loves to code manage your code use patterns use frameworks and all postman it's a not a great tool for you 
you can create either stuff but again you have to go to the other frameworks uh if you talk about the fourth file management payloads large payloads sub uh, like specifically the websites that i have worked on in previous one they had large large payloads and again i have seen postman having some kind of serious pro issues uh it's taking lots of resources even in your mac as well as uh, when we are running through newman and all it's taking lots of resources no major support of running parallel execution i have seen in the, uh, i basically told you in the 6 point also you cannot run your uh, test cases parallelly which is where lots of new api testing tools like karate and all are basically becoming more popular right and very li- little support to frameworks if you talk about if you want to inc- include any kind of a ddt or bdd a postman it is not a good pull tool for you right so that's again the major cons of it so eventually when you have a great uh, i would say not great i would say if you have a some decent amount of api test that you are doing you will eventually leave the postman separately and we we'll move towards another frameworks like rest assured karate uh, get get down studio that we have switched down right even with py python pytest and rare Re- request or node with request right so eventually in the end advanced whenever you are moving towards the advanced stuff basic and medium level postman is enough but if you are moving towards advanced api testing you have to go through these frameworks and all right so that's what i wanted to tell you that if you are moving towards advanced api testing you have more than i would say 700 or 500 test cases that you basically run uh on in your apis right move towards the rest assured or some other frameworks which are much much helpful they use patterns you can use pattern you will have more leverage over the code uh, you can do better test management better file management in that case right so that's all about the cons and all i hope you have learned something new in this video right do let me know what are the pros and cons in the comment section and i'll see you right and uh if you want to learn about more advanced stuff related to the postman as well as advanced stuff related to the api testing if you want to start your journey from basic medium to advanced stuff go visit the learn.testingacademy.com i'll see you there right and one more thing important thing that i'm just wanted to let you know guys if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe as well as share right thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video